let us understand the value list handler design pattern in web applications many times the client requires to view list based upon some query for example search via some name address etc if the application is making use of ejb then the client will make use of ejb find method to get the required object references the implementation of the ejb find method differs from container to container in some cases it just return the references via the primary keys and certain times it can also return references to the entity bins using which the client can invoke a call the above design approach has following disadvantages it is network expensive since the client has to invoke methods on remote objects to get the required result there are additional function overheads involved especially in getting the object references and then using the same for getting the required values the ejb find method query constructs are very less flexible as compared to other query constructs like hibernate query language and so on the given problem can be solved with the help of value list handler design pattern in this case we have a value list handler which implements the value list iterator interface the iterator interface has various methods like get size get current element get previous elements get next elements reset index and so on the value list handler provides body to all these methods the value list handler will be responsible for assessing the data ss and preparing the value objects example of value objects will be transfer object and after preparing a variety of value objects it will add the same in a list which would be then returned to the client since the list is directly returned to the client and it is the value list handler who takes care of assessing the data ss and preparing the value object the client is saved from the network intensive calls to be made in the case of ejbs thus by using value list handler the performance of the system will improve since at one call the entire list containing various value objects will be returned to the client following are the benefits of using the value list pattern it provides flexibility in terms of querying as compared to the weak querying construct of the ejb find method it improves the network performance since in one call itself the entire list of various value objects are returned to the client it provides caching ability and there is no more need of ejb finder methods let's understand more of this pattern with an example in this example we have a customer table which contains various customer attributes like name age item number of items and so on in this application the user will be allowed to search for a particular customer by using his name in case the name is present within the table all the details pertaining to that user will be sent back to the client in some cases there can be more than one customers with nearly same names let's see how to implement this by using the value list pattern shown is the first page of the application in which the user can enter the name of the customer whose details he wants to know on entering the details of the customer when the user clicks on the submit button all the details pertaining to customer whose customer name is nearly like shiv 
should be printed on the screen. On executing the search operation, we get various details pertaining to the customers whose name matches with that of the customer name specified in the search operation. We display only 5 users or customers if present within the query. If the query returns more than 5 customers, then we make use of pagination facility in which the next set of user users will be printed in the next page. Similarly, we also provide a previous option in which we can scroll back or go back to our earlier list. Thus, we provide some amount of cash in also in this application. Let's see how to implement the same by making use of value list design pattern. Shown is the first welcome page which is known as index.jsp in which we have created a form and created a test box in which the user enters the name of the customer whose details he wants to know. On clicking on the submit button, the user is taken to the action named search action which is mapped to the servlet search servlet. Inside the process request method which are invoked by the do get and do post method respectively, we first create a value list. Let's see the implementation of the value list class. For implementing the value list pattern, we first create an interface named value list which contains the signature of various methods like get size, get current element and so on. The value list handler class implements the value list interface and gives body to the various functions. First it creates a list and second is a list iterator. The set list and get list functions are setters and getters for the list. We also have a get size method which returns the size of the list. We have get current element which will return the current element from the list. Get previous elements with end count as argument. In this case, we can get the count number of previous elements from the current elements which are present in the list. For doing so, we create a linked list and we iterate by using the list iterator and get all the previous records which matches as per our count. Similarly, we have a get next elements again which has a parameter in count which will specify the next x count elements from the given element. In the case of reset index function, we bring the cursor which is moved from one end of the list to other back to the start of the list. Inside the search servlet, first by using the reference variable of value list type, we point to an object of value list handler. Second, we create a data SS object using which we will fetch the details of all the customers whose name matches with the given criteria. For doing so, we make use of the get cust data function which is present within the customer DOA class. Shown is the implementation of get cust data function which takes customer name as an argument. We make use of JDBC function call to make get the required results. To do so, we first create a connection object and by using statements and query, we execute the query to get the required result set. By looping through this result set, we create various transfer objects. In this case, transfer object name customer TO. And the same is added in the list, which is then returned to the call-in function.
the get cash data returns us a value list which is added in the session scope finally of the processing the request and response are forwarded to task.jsp page inside the task.jsp page first we retrieve the value list which was added in the session in order to support pagination we create a variable known as i page number if the value of i page number is not present within the request it means this is the first page else it will have some value which will be used for processing we determine the size of the value list and divide it by 5 since in each page we are going to display only five results based upon the value returned we get various values like get next elements 5 this will return us a sub list which contains the next five elements from the current element in case the user wants to go behind we can provide the same by using get previous elements 5 by using this we will be able to display various results to the user finally after getting various results from the list we we'll loop through the same and print the various details pertaining to the user we have provided two links next and previous next will take us to the next elements if present and previous will take us to the previous page if present this pagination is driven by the variable i page number Let's execute the program and find out the corresponding output. On executing the program, we get the search page in which we enter the name of the user, whose details we want, and click on the submit button. We get various details pertaining to the users whose customer name nearly matches with the criteria which we specified in the query. We have the next button. on clicking which we will be able to traverse the next part of the list that is the next five customers in this way the user is able to traverse through the list and it improves the network performance since for each traversing a request is not made to the remote objects thus we have successfully implemented the value list design pattern Let's see the next design pattern which is known as business or domain objects